Hey tires, Darren here, back with another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a DDH leech. This is a pattern developed by Stu Thompson out of Manitoba, Canada, and it's a either a leech or a bait fish pattern. If you want to tie this as a leech, I would suggest that you use a bead chain eye rather than the um, hourglass that we're using here, the more heavy weighted, I guess, and. You can change up the colors if you want to do bait fish. You can kind of opens up the colors that you can use for this pattern. Whereas a leech, you're probably a little bit more limited to blacks and uh, olive type colors. All right, so let's have a look at the materials and get started. Get a fresh hook in the vise. Today I'm using a Mustad 9672 and I'm using a black 6 aught uni thread. Alright, we'll just start by putting a bit of thread onto the hook shank. I'm going to wrap that down to about the bend and then back. And the first thing we're going to tie in is our barbell eye. I'm using a four millimeter yellow and black. And we're just going to tie that in with a couple cross wraps each way. And then I give the thread a bit of a pull just to make sure it's tight. So go one way, cross under, go the other way. Pull it tight and then a few under wraps just to kind of give it a base so that it helps helps it not to wobble. Just do that a couple times. That really will secure the eye in place for you. Alright, when you got that where you want it, just make sure have a look from the front, make sure it's parallel. If you like, you can add a little bit of weight onto the shank. We're gonna not do that today. So I've got a piece of marabou here. It's got a bit of a thicker stem so what I've been doing is um, it's not great for palmering so what I do is I just pull some of the feathers fibers off the sides and then I just kind of roll them in my hand and this makes a nice little tail and it kind of bulks it up. You get a bit of a denser tail without having to use an entire feather. So I'll measure that about a body length. And we'll tie that on on top of the shank. Trim off the excess here. All right, so now we're going to tie in a dubbing loop. So I've got my dubbing twister tool here. And basically all we do is we pull a bit of thread out and we're going to hook both of those hooks into the thread. I'm going to pull out about four or five inches down. Then we're going to wrap backwards till we meet the two threads. Then we're going to pass our tying thread behind and in front and behind once more and back in front just to make sure that that loop is totally closed. And then we'll advance our thread, thread forward. So I'm using a couple different colors of Diamond Deb. So this is kind of a chocolate brown color. Might be kind of tough to see. It might just look black. It's got a little bit of kind of coppery sheen to it and dark brown color. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start off by pulling dubbing apart and then putting it together in the same plane 
just so that I'm kind of lining these fibers up. So what I want them to do is I want them to splay out but still be caught in the thread. So then we're just going to make sure we open our loop up. I'm going to put our material in about halfway and then we're just going to pull it apart a little bit, kind of distribute it along the four inches of thread there that we have. So that we've got a nice loop. And when we're satisfied with the distribution, we're just going to spin the dubbing loop. And if you have a dubbing teaser, here's a good spot to use it. I prefer to use the homemade dubbing teaser that I've made. I'll put a link so you can make your own there. So you just kind of pull out all this dubbing. Well, you're not pulling it out. You're just uh, freeing the trapped ends. And this is going to help form the body of the fly. You just want to make sure that that's twisted and that the dubbing isn't going to come out of the loop. So what I like to do is I like to palmer this, so I'll pull all the dubbing back onto one side and kind of the same way that I do um, a regular feather, I'm just going to pull everything back as I wrap it forward. This might be a little bit trapped down, but I'm going to take my brush through this again after we're done here. So I like to do this one in two sections. I'll do one rear section in one color, and then I'll put different color up front for the eye. So we're just going to trap our tag end of our dubbing loop. Make sure you go on both sides of that so that it's trapped well. Trim that off. Then we're going to do a second dubbing loop in the front. This one is a little bit shorter. So about three to four inches, I guess, is good. Make sure you go behind that thread, or that loop. And then I'll just put my thread forward. So for this one, I'm going to use a silver dubbing. This one is the Silver Diamond Dub Holographic. Or no, this one isn't holographic. This one's uh, just a steel gray, sorry. So again, we just kind of line up the fibers. And then we're going to stick those into the dubbing loop. And we'll just kind of tease those out so that they're not all concentrated so that they can form a nice head on this fly. So now we'll start spinning. And we'll brush that out again. Kind of get out those any fibers that might have got trapped. You get a few on your brush. And you can just pull those off and reuse them on another fly. Alright, so again we're just going to pull back these fibers. When I go over this eye, I like to go in front, behind, and in front again, just to make sure that everything's covered. And I'd say we probably did a little bit too much on there, so we'll take it there and then we're going to tie that off. Alright, couple wraps. Pull that back. Lock that in place. Trim off the excess. 
and pull that out and save it for your next fly. So let's add a whip finish to the fly. I should also mention that if you have a straight-eyed hook, streamer hook works fairly nice for this application. Just make sure we got that cleaned up nice. We'll go ahead and glue that after we're done. We'll trim that thread up. Now all we have left to do is just kind of brush this out. Thanks for stopping by my fly tying channel and watching my tutorials. If you're new here and like this sort of thing, why not hit that subscribe button? I'd love to hear from you, so if you have anything to say, leave it in the comments below. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.